friends and welcome back. It's Cheyenne and I am here today with yet another recipe from Dessert Person. Today I'm going to be making Claire Saffitz's pineapple and pecan upside down cake. I am so so excited for this cake because one, I love a good pineapple upside down cake and two, this cake just takes it even further. There's dark rum, there's brown sugar, there's lots of spices and it just sounds absolutely amazing so I am super super excited to give this recipe a try. But yeah, with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients. So for the pineapple caramel layer, you're going to need one medium pineapple, half a cup of light brown sugar, a quarter cup of dark rum, one tablespoon of unsalted butter, and a pinch of salt. Then for the pecan cake, you're going to need one cup of pecan halves or pieces, one cup of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and then a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of baking powder, one stick of unsalted butter, half a cup of granulated sugar, a quarter cup of light brown sugar, two large eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, and half a cup of buttermilk. And then this is optional, but you can warm up a third of a cup of apricot jam and then use it for glazing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start by cutting up this pineapple, so wish me luck. Okay, she wants these no more than an eighth of an inch thick, so um, just looking at a ruler for reference. Yes, my name is on it. Cute. Anyway, that is incredibly thin. All right, let's see what I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and add all my pineapple into this pot. I'm gonna add the brown sugar and the rum. So I've got this pot on medium low heat and I've added just enough water to barely submerge the pineapples. Here are the finished pineapples. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the juice and add them onto this plate. All right, so this leftover juice is going back onto the stove to cook down and we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Got this on medium heat and I am going to go ahead and add in the butter as well as some salt. So now we're just gonna let this cook down until it's become nice and thick. All right, so currently I am working on reducing down the caramel, but it is taking such a long time. The book says five to seven minutes, but it's definitely taking way longer than that. I still have it going on the stove. So instead of just sitting around, I am going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is toasting the pecans. So I'm just gonna put them on a baking sheet and throw them in the oven at 350, keep an eye on them, move them around, and yeah. So I've got my pecans. And into the oven they go. So here's the caramel, and as you can see, it's super liquidy. It's not thick as it should be, so we're just gonna keep letting it cook and hope that it thickens up at some point. <laughs> All right, so it's been a few more minutes and it's starting to look a lot better. I think it's starting to thicken up just a little bit, so I'm much more hopeful now. Okay, this looks good. So I am going to go ahead and pour this into the bottom of the pan. All right, there it is. Now I am going to go ahead and layer the pineapple slices on top of this caramel. All right, well, my nuts got a little bit too toasty. They're showing up way lighter on camera, but they are very dark and I think I overdid it. So I might have to redo this. I pretty much covered the entire bottom of the pan, but I still have so much pineapple left over, so I think I'm just gonna add some more until I feel good about it, I guess. <laughs> All 
right, definitely still have some pineapple left over, but I feel pretty good about how yeah. the pan is looking, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. All right, I've got my food processor here, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my flour, cinnamon and nutmeg, and then the salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and add in my pecans. Which, by the way, yes, I did have to retoast them, so. <laughs> now I'm just gonna blend this up until the nuts are finely ground. So to this bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add in my butter and my sugars. And then beat them together. Now I'm gonna add in my eggs one at a time. Now I'm going to add in the flour mixture as well as the buttermilk and then alternate them. So three additions of the flour and two additions of the buttermilk. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and throw my batter on top of the pineapples. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the oven at 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes. Alright, so the cake is done. As you saw, the toothpick came out clean, so now I'm going to go ahead and just let this cool on this wire rack. It says about 15 minutes, and then I will try to flip it over and we'll see how that goes. Alright, so I have let the cake cool for about 15 minutes. It's kind of fallen down a little bit in the middle, um, but now I'm going to attempt to release this and flip it over. So, let me do this. I don't burn my hand. Okay. Um, came out a little bit taller than I expected to like get under the crust. Oh goodness. Hmm. I wonder if I should like level this off first. I don't want to like throw, throw away any of the cake though. It's okay. This is the bottom of the cake anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Okay, we've lost a few pieces, but you know, we're trying our best. Oh my god, that tastes so good. Hot, 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 hot. Wow! I mean, I don't know, I think that looks pretty good. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, let me move away some of these loose pieces which will definitely get eaten because this cake is super good. Um, you know, we're just gonna try and tuck that back under. That's okay. If anyone's curious, this recipe did call for a nine inch cake pan, which I did use, but um, as you saw, the batter did um, come up a bit over the sides. So just keep that in mind, it's okay. The top still looks lovely. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cool and then we will give it a taste. 
All right, hello friends, I am back. It is a few hours later and the cake has completely cooled, so I figured I would go ahead and give it a taste. So here's what it looks like. You know, it's not the prettiest slice of cake, but I am really excited, so. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. The cake is just like really tender and moist, especially with the pineapple on top. And the pineapple is like sweet, but it's not too sweet. And <clears throat> the spices really just complement each other really well. So I am so glad that I made this. It tastes so good. I have never had like a spiced um, pineapple upside down cake like this before. And I was kind of, oh, I was a little wary when she said that there were nuts in the recipe and, but they're ground up. So, you know. I'm not really a huge nut person, so that works out really well for me. And overall, I definitely recommend this cake. Definitely give it a try and let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!